<laughs> welcome. Welcome back. Yes. Yeah. Nice you could see us. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and we had a chance to be together. Yes. Yes. It's yes. nice to be together oh, again. It's so nice. Yes. Yeah. We have been... Oh, life has been yeah. busy and wonderful and not so wonderful. And yes, so yes. we're so glad to uh, be bringing you something brand new. Something new. Something new. It's still a reaction. Yes, it is a reaction, mm -hmm. but not to ghost hunters. No. And this is being that we're in our everyone's favorite month, right? October. Um <laughs> Okay, <laughs> my favorite month. Um, we decided. I just oh, I suggested it. Marilyn, being the amazing friend that she is, said yes, even though she doesn't like scary movies. Really, don't like the slasher. Movies. I don't like horror movies. Right. Which but I this was really. Well. A, I think this was a fun idea. Yes. So we're going to give you. Um, the I, I've seen this several times. Um, it's like if anyone asks what's like, tell me the best paranormal movie ever. It's like um, Paranormal Activity. You go there's there's several movies, uh, but this first one I thought was just genius. Not only is it such so low budget, done so raw, and just with a single camera, and all the tricks and stuff they do. You know, because it's a movie. This isn't real. Um, brilliant. Just brilliant. Anyway, I think it's fun. And so we're just going to tell you our opinions. If this were real, is that reasonable that this would happen or not happen? Yeah. So yeah, I think it's going to be interesting. I hope you find it interesting. Yes. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. So we're just going to play... You know, from the beginning of the movie, out, we're just going to play little clips and then we'll just talk to you about it. Um, it really doesn't make sense to do the whole movie. Um, no, so, it no, doesn't. No. <laughs> <laughs> At all. So, all right. So, let's, I don't think there's anything else um, that we need to say. TCSEverydayPsychics.com is our website if you want to know more about about us, about our services, mm -hmm. et cetera. And if you want to check out the podcast, mm -hmm. they are there as well. Yes. Or theconsciousspirit.net. Yep. Yes. So, mm -hmm. and right. I think <clears throat> on that, I think that it will show you a list of all the places, your favorite podcast places that you can find us. Yes, all the apps. Yep. I think so. I'm not sure. I, I think but it you does. can check them out. You can go look um, and just see if, it's the Conscious Spirit Podcast. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. And we talk on the podcast, we do some paranormal stuff, but it's really more about the spiritual journey, about healing, about why we're here. Great topics. Um, so you can head yeah. on over there. And we're going to continually make more of them. Uh, so anyway, mm -hmm. all right. Should we? So yeah. We're Remember to like, subscribe, share with a friend and all that good stuff. Yes. Yes, and this uh, is going to be, um, so if you've watched the movie, and if you haven't seen the movie, you really need to watch the whole movie. It's, it's fabulous. And just allow yourself, <laughs> woo, just allow yourself to be excited and scared and surprised and all of that. But it goes by night. Um, if you've seen the movie, you understand what I mean. And we're going to start with night one and just we'll, go from there. All right. All right. There we go. Yeah, I think First of all, we'd never tell um, you uh, to put a camera in your room. And if you did have one, and we have told people, take the cameras down. Yeah, you think you have activity and you're going to put a camera in there. Mm -hmm. You're feeding into your own fear. Mm -hmm. You're setting this expectation, mm -hmm. anticipation, mm -hmm. invitation. Invitation, yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's really not... Um, not a good thing to do. Not a good idea. And a lot of people do it. <laughs> it's looking at her. <laughs> that could be real. <laughs> yes. Could also be 
in real life, that's an imagination because you're anticipating <clears throat> something being there. Very true. Creaks. Knocking. Real, real, real. Yeah. So we're going to stop here. So that first one in the bedroom, that was night one. They put the camera in. We already kind of gave our commentary on that. So we'll just move on, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Let's. What do you want for breakfast? Uh, whatever. What the hell? Is an answer. How about scrambled eggs? Mm, sounds pretty good. Yeah. Good. Hey, babe. What? Did you talk about Eagle before? Hold on. That's what was heard in the other clip. I just. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> Where did you leave them? I left them on the counter. You sure? Yes, they're only leaving in the same spot. It's your wallet. Well, obviously, this is incontrovertible evidence that evil forces came from beyond the grave. <laughs> Remove your keys. Thank you, breakfast. Yeah. Keys on the floor. Keys on the floor. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. Um, it's also normal to try to figure out how they got there. Yes. Um, do you have a cat? Do you have a dog? Mm -hmm. uh, those would be good things to to look yes. at yeah um a window open yeah. Well, yeah that's a stretch yes that that's a stretch. i think most of us would just kind of go oh that's weird pick them up and toss them on the counter mm -hmm. yeah i think that's most of us would do that mm -hmm. yeah i think so okay all right. all right let's go again another one so you think a psychic would uh, be in our time you know, like you could foretell if the traffic was going to be bad. You're so. clever. <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. <laughs> That's not the way it works, but it is what a lot of people okay. think. Okay. Yeah, yes, hi. Hello. Nice I wish I could foretell the oh. traffic. Oh, Mika. Yes. Yeah. So can you see ahead of like that kind of thing? Like, you know, and like knowing the traffic's going to yeah. be bad? Oh, usually it depends on the day of the week or the time of the day, you know. Like all of us. I never hesitate when somebody says something. I'm always ready to do that. Well, I'm I'm certainly glad you could make the trip today. I really do appreciate it. I'd like to spend a little bit of time getting to know you, getting a little bit more information than what we shared over the telephone. Absolutely. Getting to know both of you. What's what's your life like? What's your relationship like? Uh, um, it's good. It's good. <laughs> well, that's that's one good step. Straight to How long have the two of you been together? Three years. Three years. Three years. We're engaged to be engaged next year. Mm -hmm. And your, and your jobs, both of your jobs? I'm a student. I'm an English major and hoping to be a, a teacher soon. Uh, I don't know where yet. Um, Mika is a, a day trader. Yeah. How about your health? Um, we're in good health. And no medications involved? No. no. Okay. More often than not, things that you've shared with me can be explained away by simple things like squeaky houses or rattling pipes or you know, some normal thing that's going on, mm -hmm. it just has people a little bit mm -hmm. more freaky because they're under a lot a high degree of stress. So, so this, um, let's call it a haunting, has happened to you before moving into this house? Yes. Um, it started when I was eight. I, um, you know, I was living with my family, of course, and I uh, shared a room with my younger sister, Christy, she was five. And uh, at that time we both, you know, experienced whatever it was. You know, we had, I, I would feel the breathing that wake me up and I would wake her up mm -hmm. and I would see the, um, I guess you'd call it like a, like a, just a mass, like the shadowy just figure that would be at the foot of my bed. And it was always at the foot of my mm -hmm. bed. It was never at the foot of her yeah. bed, but she did see it. Um, we she were saw both, it also. Absolutely. And we were both absolutely terrified. Okay. I mean, you know, couldn't even move, you know, you just, it was just, it was horrifying. I mean, you just pray, please, please let it go away. And then eventually it would. So this happened for a while in, in our first house. 
And then we, um, there was a fire. We managed, everyone got out, no one was hurt, thank, God, thank goodness. But um, uh, we, we lost everything. So we, and, so we moved. Um, was it ever determined what caused the fire? No. And not, you know, I'm not saying it had to do with the haunting stuff. I don't, I'm not saying that at all. I don't know what it was. Did the fire department do any in, in investigation of the causes of the fire? I don't know if there was like a criminal investigation, but I know that they really tried to figure out what was the cause and they couldn't. Okay. You know, it wasn't electrical or anything, you know, simple like that. So then <clears throat> from the time you were eight years old until now, have you experienced this periodically over the ensuing years? Yes. From 13 on, it's happened. It's happened periodically. Over the past few weeks, things have started happening again. So when you tell me that it's moved from where you were living when you were eight, again when you were living someplace else when you were 13 and now here it seems to me that that's what we're dealing with something that's basically connected to you all right mm. yeah yeah so there's a lot to to sort of unpack mm. in this one um mm -hmm. first of all his it, i know we're watching a movie and i you have to i'm putting it in that perspective like some of the his questioning about medications etc um that is something that you uh could eventually get to i don't think it would be the first one of the first things that you'd sit down and ask um i mean typically we don't <clears throat> go there we we <clears throat> first do see what the activity is and then, to it that then, way, and then talk it comes, to yes. the people he came in more like um more like a therapist with his you know yeah, yeah. <laughs> and also as she was talking about her childhood a a psychic whether it's a paranormal psychic or paranormal medium would have read into that mm -hmm. and would have known a lot more about what was going on mm -hmm. in her childhood mm -hmm. yeah agreed um as i was watching him the term that was coming to my mind is she's feeding she's feeding the medium although he's, oh, a, yes. he's a psychic yes um, yes you're feeding him she's yeah. feeding this yeah. she's feeding the psychic yes um which is so opposite of how we do yes. things yes um, yeah you usually again we go through we look at everything paranormal first and we don't mm -hmm. and then we come back after with the client and talk about those other things mm -hmm. to help put the pieces together mm -hmm. yeah um, and that's really, that is just the difference between what we saw and what we do. Yes. Yeah. 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 And, and again, you know, I love this movie, so I'm not <laughs> picking apart the movie. We're just saying in real life, this is what would be normal. So if someone comes, if you have activity, someone comes in and starts doing that, just cut that one off. Like mm -hmm. you're, you're getting ready to be fooled or, um, taken something like that. Yeah. That's not it. Um, what else? There was something else I was going to say. Oh, he's talking about, oh, the fire. Activity can, fires can happen from um, some nasty spirits. It usually is, it's an older home. There's some electrical stuff going on and they can manipulate that. In a strong, you know, a newer home, the electricity, everything is, is the way it's supposed to be um starting a fire is not quite they, they, there has to be like there has to be kindling there with a match and you know what i mean like it has to be sure yeah, there has to be the opportunity to start that fire but that can certainly that can happen um however the way she would if we're looking at this in real time if this were a real right investigate we went out to there would have been a lot more activity and things happening in her home before that fire started. Then a lot, a lot more. more than just a mass showing up at the end of the yes, bed. Yes, yes, a lot more. Yes, yes, yeah. And I would say, which you can, if it if it's following her, mm -hmm. as he's saying, um, that that is not typical. That is not typical. Um, I would agree that that's not typical, that it's going to follow her. Yeah, no. Um, would it be common for activity to be where she is? Yes. Because yes. most likely at this level, 
she's a sensitive of some kind. She's psychic in some mm -hmm. way and um, or and or <laughs> very unhealed, very traumatized. Mm -hmm. There's things going on um, within her and you could either create a poltergeist. It can bring activity to you. There's right. so many things, but just in general, that's not a really good depiction of of everything. Um, yeah, yeah. And was there something else? He he's <clears throat> and, and um, I think he's great for the the way they're portraying him in the movie. I get it because they want him to kind of be a dum dum. And not really, <laughs> you know, not really great at his job. <laughs> they want him to be there, but he's really not good at his job. <laughs> Sorry. He's really oh not good God. at his job. Oh, so, yeah. All right. So, okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. So the next one, uh, number five. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Next one. These lights have been flickering. These ones that are in the ceiling. Uh -huh. That happens. We've had water from yeah. the faucets turn on and off. Yeah. Disappointably, okay. you know, or will come down. Not turn on and off, but will come down and it'll be on. We've heard mm -hmm. banging on the walls, scratching mm -hmm. sounds like mm. you know, like dragging yes. down the wall, kind of scratches. Oh yes. Most of the activities in here, isn't it? Yes, the vast majority of it. Uh, I've heard whispering. Sometimes I can't understand it. Sometimes. My name. Oh, so it specifically calls to your name. It has before. You've heard this too, Nika? Uh, well, I've heard like weird noises. I haven't really heard anyone say Katie's name except for me. That might have been me in my sleep. I can tell the difference between you saying Katie from over there in the bed and something right here whispering. It's very disturbing when that happens. In my ear. Very yeah, so unnerving. And it is very different. Yes, you know. Yeah, very you different. All night. What, you want to take us? Got the tripod, wide angle lens, get the whole room, <clears throat> EVP, recorder, just to catch any sounds. So you'll go to bed and have the light on and have the camera going as you're just normally going to bed. Does this, do you do this all the time? Well, we just recently started with the camera. Our extra bathroom right there. Uh -huh. Any a psychic Lights that knows the paranormal. There. There's something like we can do to make the stuff happen. Any you know? psychic so worth his salt would tell that's them to take that's all that down now. I don't want to with that. I don't even want to get the camera these hauntings they feed off of negative energy so if there is something negative going on here it will it will help spur on the the haunting you know we would call it low vibration but that. yes you shouldn't let your mother come over anymore that's fine <laughs> 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 that's funny my area of expertise is dealing with ghosts that's what i built my career around helping people get in touch with uh, people who have died communicating with ghosts, the spirits of dead human beings. A demon is something different. That's an entity that okay. relates to something that is non-human. Okay. A lot of debate, a lot of discussion about what that. A lot of debate. Is, it's not yeah. a person. Okay. Dealing with demons is not my area. I'm very uncomfortable with it, and I'll tell you quite frankly, I sense that there's something going on in this house. You cannot. Run from this. It will follow you. It may lay dormant for years. Something may trigger it. That part's true. It can lay dormant. And, and they get triggered. And time, reach out to communicate with you. It's not entirely okay, true, but... Okay, Dr. Johan Avery. Possible. He's a yeah. colleague of mine. He's a demonologist. He specializes in this sort of thing. He's in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. I don't know how we went right from there to demon. What if we like, that'd be another red right flag right? for y'all. I know what it wants. Yes. And then we just give what it wants, and then gone. <laughs> Because what it probably wants is Katie. Oh, and see. if you do pick up a board and try to play games with it, the entity will sense that you're trying to communicate with it. And that's opening the door, inviting it in. That is true. That is true. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Glad to hear you say that. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, I will definitely give um, Dr. Avery the call. Have a very safe trip back. I will. Bye-bye. All right. Bye. Here we go. Yeah. We're going to stop this now. All right. So, <laughs> so much to talk about. Uh, so, very simply, what he's saying yes. is there are 
humans who become ghosts. Mm -hmm. Non-human mm -hmm. equals demon. Yes, that's what he was saying. That's what he was saying. And we all know that's not. And what he was saying, okay, and I want to, along with that, mm -hmm. um, he was saying the way he was describing what he does mm -hmm. sounds like he works with healed spirits. I want to connect people with their, well, however he said that, I don't remember, but it sounded like like a spirit who'd been completely crossed yes. over, that's what we call a healed spirit, that he doesn't deal with ghosts, earthies, <clears throat> unhealed spirits, etc. Yes. Um, so I that think, would be another clue if you had someone come in and they yeah. said I think that. he is grouping someone who has died Yes. Um, yes. in the general thing of ghost, which is... Yes. No. Yes. And there was a huge leap to, it's a demon and it's following Katie. <laughs> like, that was just... And again, this is a movie. I get it. I get that there's a... And I love this movie. I am not in any way putting down this movie. We're just telling you, if this were in mm -hmm. real life, what we would do, what we're seeing, what's true, what's not true, etc. Um, and... Very, very often. Um, well, if there's a lot going on in the bedroom, that is very telling. Um, that's really telling if it's uh, how um, how sensitive or how the the people are, like the way. Hmm. So, <laughs> if it's if you have PTSD, if you have trauma, if you are a psychic, if you have gifting, more of the activity is going to be in your bedroom. Very typically, not always, but that's a very typical thing. Um, gotcha. I'm sorry, I was not that's sure okay. where you were going she with that. She can usually follow me, but <clears throat> I know I was. Uh, my words were jumbled. <laughs> um, so for me, that's when we speak to them there and we do the what what you know our investigation and we could tell there's mm -hmm. a lot going in the room in the bedroom where they sleep that leads us to certain conversations after like medications about depression mm -hmm. about what's going on in your personal life mm -hmm. um when there's no activity going on in the bedroom we don't even go to those questions. There's there's really no There's really no reason. Yeah. No. no. No need to. No. Yeah. So, um obviously this isn't real or we would be checking out the grids, we'd be checking out everything, but there's none to look at. Right. Um so, Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I think that's and the the thing with the name that you don't even have to have a haunting for that to happen. That happens. It could be I mean, there's a plethora of things and it's very unnerving to have your name called. And it's like, what? You know, you're just going about your business at home. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Or in the store. In the store. And from behind you. Comes <laughs> your name. Yes. Yes. <laughs> what the hell? Yes. Am I familiar with that? <laughs> yes. Maybe. Maybe. Yes. <laughs> All right. Come to bed. Oh, I hope you. Let me turn this off. Wait. Excuse me. What? The camera is not off. It's off. That's the standby light. That is not the standby light. That's the record light. <laughs> I think that would probably and be legal get... in Kentucky, you know, the 12 states. <laughs> This girl is wild. And I get she doesn't want the camera on, but ghosts, spirit guides, sp they see everything. So everything they did without the camera on there, mm -hmm. anything in that house saw everything. Mm -hmm. Just just saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they're probably going to get to, yep, see, just past, they keep doing the t just past two thing. Creaking. Okay.
the door. Mm -hmm. Now it should slam or... Yeah. Or just stay there or, or slam. Like do... <laughs> or go back. <laughs> they have a polite end. They do. <laughs> <laughs> why not? Yes. Sure, why not? All right, okay. let's stop that. All right, so that that was just that little door thing and we, as you saw us react to that. Yep. Um, very polite, very polite ghost. Um, yeah. It will, you don't have, you won't have big activity every night. Mm -mm. That That is truthful, you do, um, but by this time, your sleep is already so interrupted. Like if you've already had a psychic there and you've had stuff going on, you're so aware at this point, your your nerves are frazzled. Mm -hmm. um, this is the kind of stuff, when we say you shouldn't live with activity, this is part of it. Mm -hmm. You cannot get fully grounded. You cannot be fully present. Um, your immune system goes wacko. Um, you're more apt to get sick. Um, your emotions start running crazy with you because the lack of sleep, you've all, all of us have gone with lack of sleep and mm -hmm. it's miserable. So at this point, um, more, uh, those things would start showing anyway. Right. Yeah. Right. So. Um, I just want to point out though, that door, not an absolute sign of activity. No, no. I mean, there's all. all kinds of way to debunk a door. Yes. Um, yeah. Opening or closing. I will say the fact that, <clears throat> well, this is a movie. I understand. Yes. But if it were to open and then close, that is a little suspicious. Yes. Yes. Um, but just sort of rock back and forth. Is, yeah. 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 Wait, all right. Okay. Yeah, I, was, I was looking at the footage Stop. from last night. All right, check it out. This is about 2.10 <clears throat> in the morning. Uh, the doors, just, you got it? Mm -hmm. The doors and windows all over the house are closed. I just checked them. The flowers are not moving. Okay, so he tried to debunk. Something else That's is. good. <gasps> Doors. He even looked at like the flowers, oh they God. weren't moving. Yeah, so was it, it you know, what was it? It moves again. That's pretty good. Oh, oh, Mika, that is. That's so awesome. I told you this was a good idea. Wow. You think you can get that ghost back? I think I can do what? Get the ghost back. Get us some more interesting, uh, you know. I'm not interested in that. I just wanted to go away. Yeah. Time for it to, yeah. That was funny. That was. Um, and yes, um, screaming for that spider. Absolutely. Yes. However, the nerves are already getting frayed. Yes. <clears throat> and yeah. overreactions can happen. Yes. Yeah. And even him being so, again, this is a movie, mm -hmm. but even him thinking, my wife is, or my girlfriend is screaming in the other room, and I have to... Uh, I could better grab my camera. And um, so if that were in real life, I, I'd be a little ticked off that he, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, had to get the camera first. But but 
that obsession. Yes, that's that real. obsession yes, yes, of yes. that's real. I'm gonna that's catch real. whatever this is. Yes. That's real. Yes, mm -hmm. and we've come across that mm -hmm. absolutely. Being obsessed with activity um, is a real thing, and it's mm -hmm. uh, very sad and yes. uh, can be a little dangerous. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Hey, this one's called Demon or Ghost. Let's see. Hey, you out here? Hey, tell me what the point of this was. Is he talking Part to the master plan to move the door? Yeah. Talk to the ghost. Oh, he's, he's talking. Okay. Shit. Well, basically, it could be two things. Mm -hmm. It could be a ghost. <laughs> Dr. Frederick said that it was Many more options than that, but evidence. we'll go with I'm that. Doing my research and I'm going to find out what it is. Well, whatever it is that's following me, it doesn't feel. Uh, it doesn't feel human. It feels like it's. It feels like a monster. I mean, like it wants to hurt me. Well, that sounds actually like a demon. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. what he said. Well, because ghosts are spirits of human beings. Yeah, it's definitely not human. Then. Maybe you're right, which is bad, because demons suck. Basically, they're these malevolent, evil spirits that only exist to cause pain and commit evil for their own amusement. It's yep. I mean, that's all true. They stalk people for years, like decades. So they're, sometimes they're really intelligent in the way they do things to freak you out. So this could be like a really rare phenomenon, and it's cool we got it on tape. It is very I'm rare. I'm not as excited as you. That is yeah. very rare. Everyone that's being terrified. That's All right. Good. I'll take care of that. So, um... <sighs> Demon or ghost? <laughs> they really... Boy, they left out a lot of yes, options. Yes, yes. A lot of and, options. And when she says, it doesn't feel human to me, it feels... Like a monster. Like a monster. Um, <clears throat> that, as, as you... you Everyone who's watching, you have watched enough Ghost Hunter videos. You certainly watch our videos. Mm -hmm. And if an earthy can get you to think it's the scariest thing possible, <laughs> it's going to get you to think. And you cannot tell. There are even times we we know what we're looking at. Yeah. We, you know, we deal with them. And we can still be, they will show up as an earthy. Mm -hmm. And it'll take us a beat to go, oh, wait, no, you're, you're not a demon. There's a lot in between. Oh, there's a lot, a lot in between. But um, yeah. that part you can't, and I think that's part of what has happened really in our society now is ghost or demon. Like, right. and I, I, I blame the whole ghost hunting thing on, on that. And not necessarily that they did it on purpose. But the unknowing, and this movie, yes, um, <laughs> but this movie came from somewhere, you know, ghost hunting has been around yeah. a lot longer than this, yes. than this movie. But, yeah. But still, that's where this is all, and so, um, <laughs> I guess, I mean, we talk about it, please don't jump to the conclusion that it's anything other than an earthy, even an angry yeah. earthy. And I want to say, she says it doesn't feel human. Right. Well, I mean, if we're being honest, mm -hmm. once you are an earth, um, an earthbound spirit, mm -hmm. you really can't be called human because you don't right. have yeah. the human range of emotions. You don't have the human ego. Yeah. You don't have the physical body. You don't have the physical body. Um, you're not human anymore. Right. Um, you point. are a spirit that has a very diminished capacity. Yes. You're living in fear. Yep. Uh, so, you know, yeah, yeah. she's right. Yeah. Um, it's not, it's not human. Yes. Um, but not in the way she's saying it's not human. Yes. But that's part of the movie. That's part of the, really the, the they're really setting the movie up. Yeah. Um, or the, you know, yeah, it's sort of that slow burn type of movie. It's fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> 
And I really just want to do what I normally do when I watch these kind of movies that I just kind of put my ego aside and I just allow myself to enjoy it. But I have to look at it differently. Um, <laughs> yeah. And so and that's okay. Okay. All right. Uh, number nine. Mm -hmm. You know, I understand that this stuff is new to you and exciting in some ways, so I mm -hmm. I get your whole filming thing, but it isn't new to me, and I think this thing could be very dangerous. So I just I just want you to know that as things get things progress or or get worse in any way, I don't want to mess with the camera stuff anymore. I don't want to make it mad. I understand where come from. Just remember too that you didn't exactly warn me about this kind of stuff before we moved in together. So I think I have a little bit of say in what we do. I get that, but honestly, what was I supposed to say? I went on our first date, hey, there's a demon that I think... No, but maybe on our 15th date or our 30th date or when we started. <laughs> Very <laughs> wise, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And really, the fact that he doesn't know until now, that's, that doesn't really happen. He, in real life, they would have said something long before... Because he would, they would have still had nights together. They still would have oh, had right. windows and locks. Yeah. Maybe not, and but I can't done. imagine not. So. I... If anything gets in here, we're gonna know. All right. right. <laughs> but I do understand his reaction. Yes. Happening is already here. Um. I, I'm going to say it in a different context, but whatever's happening was already here. Yes. Yes. I think yes. in real life, <clears throat> they moved into a home that already had this activity going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. So. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in trouble. Yes. I can totally see how two people could be dating for a while move in together, and him not have a clue that she has had paranormal experience. Oh, see, I just, um, uh, I, okay, I will give you that. I can see that. It just would not be part of my, I'd be like, I'd be the one on the first date, by the way. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes. When my husband and I got married, I am pretty sure he had no idea that I had ever had paranormal experiences. Oh. Okay. Um, but this is not just paranormal experiences. They're setting it up that this thing has been following her and she always has it. It has always been around her. Yeah. Yeah. But okay. All right. This, you know, yeah. not just every, saying. not everyone is a great communicator. Yeah. <laughs> <Just saying. laughs> okay. True. <laughs> All right. I'll give it to you. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I am. Also, agree with him, he should have known. If this were a real couple, mm -hmm. if you have the experience that paranormal kind of happens to yeah. hang out where you hang out, if you're going to live with someone, they have every right to know, hey, you never know. Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. Yes. This thing might come hang out with us yes. every once in a while, and yes. uh, it's going to see everything you do. Yes. Yes. Um. And there is, because it's a movie, there's this real sort of, um, like, she's pretty, I'm not sure if normal is the right word, but I don't know what else to use. And then for her to start revealing this, that kind of didn't match who she was in the beginning of the, uh, uh, if you have something, we've known people who've had activity their entire life they've been tortured by it mm, mm -hmm. um and they're not quite as grounded as she is <laughs> mm -hmm. let's just say it that way and, and now then depression comes with it right and anxiety and um right. you know all sorts of behaviors maladaptive behaviors um this could just be my my take from the movie um I was under the impression that she just periodically got this, that it wasn't like right. with her all the time. Yes. Um, but now she's talking more like 
It is. Isn't she? Or no? Am I just reading into that? I feel like now she's talking more like it's... Okay. And that's what that's okay. the, that's the part I'm going that doesn't quite okay. match. I get okay. Real I get life it. what people right. we've come in contact with. Right. Yes. Got it. Yeah. And not just as paranormal mediums. People don't always, you know, we we've had friends that oh yeah. You know. Yeah. So anyway, yeah. I have I have friends that that's how they found out that what I do. Yes. They're like yes. They're divulging something and I'm like Really? <laughs> Can really? I look into that for you? you want some help that? <laughs> yes. All right. <clears throat> okay. Night number five. And this is all happening at a really fast clip, which in real life it doesn't quite happen this fast. But yeah. Glad it wasn't a burglar. <laughs> <laughs> but see how heightened they are? They're immediately going to it's paranormal now. Oh, Mika, stop. Yeah. And again with the between two and three o'clock. Right. Yeah. All right. And um, he just challenged it. Yes, he did. Which unfortunately people do a lot. They do. Yeah. Yes. And that's another thing. When it's in your home, um, you're losing sleep. There are things going on. You're heightened. You have the camera going. Your, um, your partner is freaked out. All of these things that are happening, you're going anger is really a, a, a go-to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you do get really tired of it. But, um, yeah, mm -hmm. so, yeah, so, um, and when I said this is happening at a really fast clip, this, um, it's like night five. And so I'm thinking, okay, in one week, would this happen all in one week? Certainly can, but typically it, it goes a little slower than that. It takes a while. And then when it ramps up. Like, it doesn't kind of go backward. It's a slow, it's kind of a slow burn, kind of like this movie, where right. it's slowly, and then, yeah. And not to say it can't. I don't want to, you know, I know there, there, I don't know. I would assume there are people out there going, that's not how it happened. Like, it happened really fast. And, and, and absolutely, and I would believe you if you told me that. Yeah. Um, we're just talking sort of in general, general terms. Right. So, yeah. All right. And... Again, in the bedroom, more and more is happening mm -hmm. in the bedroom, which does clue you into um, really more of their mental state and what they're going through. When, mm -hmm. it, yeah. So, and how stressful it is on the household. Yeah. So, all right. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, voice. All right, this is the case from... The digital audio recorder I set up in the bedroom. Mm. This is the tape from about 10 seconds before we woke up. What the hell is that? Well, I 
I listened to it you know, 50 times. It's not saying anything. It's not a language that I recognize. It's not a dog. It's not noise from the street. It's not any kind of electrical interference that I recognize. So. Oh, God. I figure it is. I think it's right in the bedroom. Is this thing wants to communicate. So, I figure I'm going to go out and get a Ouija board. Oh. No. I don't want to know what this thing has to say. Uh -uh. I want it to just leave us alone. Trust you know? me. Bad idea. He specifically said, don't do anything to antagonize or... Whatever it is. Sorry. No, I you're going you to use it. a Ouija board and invite whatever it is. <laughs> it's not going to go away. Ah, Let me do it's my like, thing. damn, I shouldn't the have said anything. Bad idea. <laughs> the camera is your thing. You do a Ouija board, there's no more. Nothing. Promise me. Make a promise me, please. Right. Fine, I promise you I won't buy a Ouija board. Thank okay. you. She's being smart. Hey. I mean, he should smart. listen. <laughs> okay. I won't buy one. <laughs> um, how many ways around getting one are there? I just saying, okay, I won't buy, buy one. one. Yes, yeah. Um, so apparently there was another language um, used from <laughs> this. Could it happen? Absolutely. But typically, if they're going to speak, they're going to speak in the language that you understand. So, although if he's baiting him to try to get him to do some, to try and communicate, that true. would be a way to do it. True. It could also be English and he just isn't. Yes. Coming to understanding because it's coming through the dimensions. Yep. Yep. Um, it sounded to be a whisper. Yes. And um, yes. even sometimes. We have, like, someone hears a growl, and sometimes it is growl, but sometimes it's them trying to speak. It's an actual word, or it's it's something they're trying to say, right. and by the time it gets through all that energy and the dimensions <clears throat> to get to you, mm -hmm. it sounds scary. It sounds like a growl. It sounds menacing. It sounds deeper than it should. It sounds all of these. Right. So very often, again... It's not something scary. It think about where it's coming from, what it has to do to get to you, and all of those things. So how much power the the earthy has or entity, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of components, components. to it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And but she is very smart. Do not bring a Ouija board in. Bad news. Bad news. <coughs> so. But he's not going to buy one. But he's not going to buy one. Nope. He's not going to buy it. Okay. Um, now we skip to night 13. All right. Hey, we haven't had anything interesting right. happen in a while. You scared? Oh. Okay. That happens too. They yeah. will stop for a while to lull to you into Come feeling sleep. comfortable. Come on. Hey. No hand carrying Or they left and went and did something Call else and then came back. Hey, hey, oh, don't get bored. Oh, yeah. yeah. Your demon's worthless. You're worthless. These people are boring. Put the oh, camera um, away. Not good. I have to write that down so I don't forget. <laughs> That can absolutely happen. Absolutely. 
so he called it out. Yeah. But still, oh, I chandelier saw that. swinging. Mm -hmm. When you start over calling here, it out, here, here. you can really show that you're scared. Over here. Mm -hmm. oh, my God. oh, God. Yeah. I can't hear what they're saying they're hearing. I, I don't know. Hold on. See listening to the hey, listening to the floor? So uh, that was the end of that clip. I don't know why they stopped it right at that moment. But um, so calling, if that were not even just a demon, but more likely you're going to get immediate reaction if it's an angry earthy. Demons, um, if it's some lower vibration we don't even call them demons just lower vibrational i'm calling it now because that's what they keep calling it here but lower vibrational entities are more patient they um don't get all worked up because someone called them a name or screaming at them whatever they it just doesn't bother them in the same way they are very patient they take their time and like this it came later and did something scary. Mm -hmm. um, that would be more of a, a lower vibrational entity or an earthy that's been around for a while. Um, um, often what will happen is if you, if it's an earthy, you start calling it out, it's gonna do something right then. Mm -hmm. Not always, but I'm just talking. More of a, more of a knee jerk reaction. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> Yes. So, and I could not hear what was, um, what the, the sounds were that they were talking mm -mm, about. Me either. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, and now I have not heard it in these clips, but I remember watching the movie and there was a lot of, um, sounds of walking that don't really match what the, the type of footsteps Okay. Running, that kind of thing. I'm not here. I don't know if I'm just not hearing it or maybe it hasn't shown up in the movie yet. I thought I remember it being mostly through the, out the movie, but I could be wrong. It's been so long since I've seen it, but I remember it not quite being, um, typically that is like residual something. So it's the same thing at the same time, that kind of mm -hmm. thing. Um, I remember it not matching in the movie. So um, just not the way, like so solid, <clears throat> so solid, um, not that can happen. And we all have heard footsteps, but as often I remember as often it was happening in there and mm. the way it was like, it didn't quite match. I wish I could hear it in, um, to be sure. Maybe I'm thinking of a different movie because <laughs> like, or, you know, I watched so many, I did get them mixed up. <laughs> 
that. All right. Um, this is yes, no. Mm -hmm. Let's see. EVP experiment number one. Uh, is there anyone here? Where did you come from? Do you have something to say in English this time? Would you be happier to talk with the Ouija board? Everything he's doing what is, is your bad quest? right now. What is your favorite color? Th there's nothing, we would not say anything Where positive about what he's doing right now. Nothing. Do you have something to say in English this time? You got nothing to say, huh? Would you be happy to talk with the Ouija board? Whoa. What the hell? Is that you grunting? No. I, mean, was I know like it's a movie, but you hear like yes, two a growl nine. or something. Something, yeah. Grunting, yeah. whatever. That could be anything. Nice. It really, it, that could be an earthy messing with you. It could be a dog. It could be, you know. Uh, could be a lot. Yeah, yeah. A, a, a lot of things. So, um, is there anything else you want to say other than don't do EVP sessions in your home, people, <clears throat> please? Yeah, yeah. That's really, and that's, okay. So, a real low vibrational um, entity. Mm -hmm. We talk about a, a very low, let, when we talk about possession, okay, when we've talked about possession, possession, you have to invite it into your body. They, they will not just, that's part of the game, that's part of the way they're able to stay there. There's so much involvement. But with a possession, you have to invite it in and that's how it gets in there and stays and totally takes you over because you have given it permission. That's the start of giving permission. You're asking it to talk to you. So you're asking, I mean, already prior to that with um, the camera, everything, they're like small mm -hmm. steps mm -hmm. in you giving this thing permission and they're so smart. They're so smart on how to get you to do that. Mm -hmm. So smart. So, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. All right. So, All right. night 15. Sleepwalking. Mm -hmm. The stress of it all is really the the um, <clears throat> yeah. She's out of her body, and her, and yeah, and her body is moving around, and yeah happens a lot when people get really stressed out and the anxiety of life mm -hmm. gets to them. Yeah, man. Okay. 
again, I know it's a movie, but in real life, if he's, first thing he's doing is thinking about that camera and going around, that tells you where his mindset is. Back to that obsession. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. My girlfriend could very possibly be in trouble and I grab the camera. Mm -hmm. Another, she's out of her body, like dissociated. If it's cold out there, she doesn't even notice it. She's kind of sleeping and what? Yeah, that's all that sleepwalking from anxiety. I agree. Yeah. Yes. Okay. 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 she's out there in a bad state he hears something upstairs and he wants okay, her to come there come yeah <laughs> okay the tv they can turn the that tv on. yeah absolutely and a little snowy thing mm -hmm. if any of you remember the whole snowy thing now i don't know how many people do Obviously, setting this up as you know mm -hmm. that the, the the entity is doing this to her, um, and there are a lot of people who do. And I would never say it never happens. We we never go to we try to mm -hmm. never go a hundred percent, but never go never because you'll get proven wrong. Yes, <laughs> every time I don't care. But most of the time, and I say most 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 of the time that you're out of your body, you're sleepwalking mm -hmm. from all the stress mm -hmm. and the anxiety of it all. So <laughs> that's typically what would happen there. Um, and even being, eyes were open when she was outside, she was mm -hmm. talking a little bit, mm -hmm. still asleep. Yes, still not in her body yeah. not functioning at all. correctly. Yeah. yeah. So um, that definitely can happen and does happen. Um, in these situations because of the stress. It's typically not necessarily paranormal. It's it's the stress of it. With that said, yeah. Possibly she had been jumped. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Would you go so far as to say that was a possible possession? No. Um I mean, sure, it could happen. Sure, I, I would never, especially if she's out of her body, that gives more access. Yeah. Um, if this were real, we would really be looking into that and finding out yeah. what's what's really happening. <laughs> uh, yes. Now, the jumped part, I, you know, um, again, never say never, but there's usually more to, they, they jump because they want to tell a story, they want something, and so, but... Again, never say never. Um, but certainly she's out of her body moving. That's part of the whole uh, sleepwalking thing. I couldn't yeah. come up with that yeah. verbiage. Almost a PTS 
Yes. Thing. Yes. Yes. Symptom. Yep. Yeah. Yep. All right. Um, don't remember. All right. Let's see what this is. So you don't remember any of this? Um, no. I mean. You don't remember getting out of bed? You don't remember standing there like a total weirdo? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying. Okay, that doesn't help. Call you a total okay, weirdo, but that was funny. You don't, you know, were you sleepwalking or what was going through your mind? I don't know. I wasn't. I, I... Oh my gosh. Yeah. So, what did you remember from this? Like, you, I you don't remember anything. Dream? I remember, I remember standing in the doorway and you pointed a camera at me. And you were all freaked out. I don't, I don't remember standing here. You went downstairs, sat in the swing. I went to get you a blanket because you just refused to come Fast forward it to where I go downstairs. Oh, and I'm freaking leaving the room. Where... You went outside and sat on the swing. And I went inside to bring you a blanket because you refused to leave in this catatonic, weird state you were in. I don't... Wait, wait, wait. Did I talk to you? I don't know. I wouldn't call it talking. But I come upstairs and there's like footsteps and... Uh, TV's on. So that's, well, maybe this kind of thing's been happening for a long time and you just never knew about it. I don't remember anything. I know that I had nightmares all night and that. What? I didn't want to talk about it. Just, they were gruesome. Just leave it at that. Yeah, it's just trying to scare us. Scare well, it's you working. Me. I'm scared. Just gotta mm -hmm. stay strong. Yep, yep, all that is true. It is trying to, it and it is working. To get to us. Yeah, and that's just bringing in somebody feeding else. it, feeding it, feeding it. Some exorcist yeah. or whatever. A lot of times it just gets worse. We don't want it to get worse. No, I don't. No. An exorcist. All right. Yeah. Okay, so, <laughs> um, yeah, all that was, yeah. And yeah, yeah. All right, they need to get somebody reputable in there. But mm -hmm. it's a movie. But if it weren't, yes, yes, they would need to call us. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you. All right. So okay. here's another one. <laughs> okay. This is the Ouija board. Says. All right. Yeah. All right, you little fucker. Something to say. Now is your chance. Katie, where are you? Oh, he acts like she didn't tell him not to. So, someone else buy it for you? Did he borrow it? Let's hear his excuse. Ouch, ouch, my boyfriend. So she's all excited to go out and she comes downstairs. Come on, help me. What are you doing? I'm going to talk to it. Look at me. I told you I was... You promised me you weren't going to... You look at me like that. You promised me you weren't going to mess with that stuff. No. I promised you I wasn't <laughs> going to buy a Ouija board. Oh, I didn't well, buy it. There it is. That is exactly what I meant. I borrowed it. But also, you see how it's ramping up, how they're exactly not being kind to each other. There's do? so much you know, going on. You know, I Ouija board I've ever seen. You put in the middle of our living room? Explain that to me. I borrowed it. You know, I don't care what you do. You're going to throw it away. I borrowed it. Right now. Okay. There's no more camera. There's no more nothing. I don't even want to hear it. I don't even want to hear it. No, don't keep me. I'm leaving and you're coming with me. Or you're not. See, this is all part Whoa. of the, when there's activity in your home, how emotional you get. Yep. The lack of sleep. The, your nerves are fried. Like, it's just, this is very common. Relationships start going down the tank. Yes. Yes. So. I hear some banging. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Some wind. Lots of wind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and the. Whatever that's called, I'm not. I, I know okay. it. Yeah, is moving around the week. That's that's not. Yeah. That's not really. Oh yeah, and that no. I call bullshit. Yeah. <laughs>
Great for a movie though. Great for a movie. <coughs> but yeah, no, there's BS there. All right. <laughs> oh, not yet. <coughs> yeah, that. Nah. Nah, nah. What did you do? What did you do, Mika? Look at me. What did you do? I didn't do shit, babe. Look. Whoa. See the panic, the fear. I cannot fucking believe The extra that. swearing. <laughs> Camera, nothing. I'll take care of this. You're not gonna do it, but I will. Looks like someone drew something on it. I don't know. Hey, Katie? What? You come down here and help me figure this out, please? Sorry? I think Did he not hear what all the things she the said? Music board. <clears throat> but the obsession. Yes. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what that thing says on the Ouija board. Babe. Katie. Look. Hey. Katie. Hello. Babe. Nigga, get the fuck out. Whoa. Whoa. I want to Shell. Look. This is not the time for this. Get out. Get out! She's pissed. Yeah, so... <laughs> um, absolutely all of the anger, the non... Uh, like, he's not listening to her because, mm. because mm -hmm. of the obsession, um, the stress, the anguish, the pain, the fear. You can... Yeah. All of that is, that is very real when there's activity in your home. Yeah. The vibrations mm -hmm. become so much lowered in the home. And as the, the activity heightens, yeah. So yep. that, all that is real. That's, that's really real. Yeah. And, um. Depicting it pretty well. Yes, I agree. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so this is Word on Ouija Board. Mm -hmm. I think I found something that's pretty cool and I'd like you to help me figure it out. So sit down. Oh. Or stand up. <laughs> I caught a camera. Or stand up. <laughs> that's okay. And the cursor was moving. Like okay. So. I'm trying to figure out what's it. I don't know. I'm sure someone you know, will say anyone named uh, Adina or Diane. Could be Nadine without two N. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, it may it could well, be the way she's fucking with us and it doesn't mean anything. Or it could be so many possibilities that I mean that could be wrong. I mean, I don't know. I don't really I don't really care what it means. You're done playing with it. I want it out of the house. Yeah, that's what needs to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Um, ah, all right. So, uh, yeah, and he's, he's becoming obsessed. That's another, like, that's everything that's going on that's very real. That really is pretty real. And our, uh, the TV just went, to, went to snow. It's over there. No one touched anything, and it's just snowing over there. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> so, uh, okay. All right. Okay. So, next one uh, footsteps. I knew there were Take footsteps in here. Hey, look at what? I lightened up the um, footage from last night. You can see the footsteps. So, what? what are you going to do? Oh, yeah, they had put powder down on the floor. Well, I do. We're calling Dr. Avery. Somehow we oh, missed. Oh, is that what that was? Yeah, yeah we, we must. had your powder on the floor. There was a and clip missed okay? in here. We should have done this two weeks ago. Yeah. 
We're calling him today. Hey, 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 hey. Let's talk about this first. This is out of new <laughs> control. Like I'm making progress. No, you haven't been having any progress, and you're not in control. It is in control, and if you think you're in control, then you're being an idiot. Hey, hey. Not a oh, single thing hey. has helped. And I'm sorry, I don't mean to burst your bubble, but the camera hasn't helped, and the stupid footprints haven't helped. Do you think that thing would have left Neither. footprints if it didn't want to? No. It did it because it wanted to. It wanted you to find yep, my photo. We can fighting be going anywhere. On. Here's what we're saying right now. Hey, how the fuck do you know? You are absolutely powerless. That's not true at all. You know Well, it. get over it. <laughs> there you go. That's all. Uh, yeah. Well, I called Dr. Avery's and he's gone. I didn't know what else to do, so I called Dr. Fredericks back. I know you don't love him, but I did. And... <clears throat> He's coming back tomorrow. That's okay. that was as soon as he could get here. So maybe if we make it till then, we could just hold we'll off. I mean, then. I know. I'm just saying that I, we can just make it till then. Go. We can just hold out. We'll be okay, and maybe tomorrow he'll help us. Fucking people, ridiculous. So um, she's trying to find someone to come and help. So the, she goes back to the same person. These days, they would probably call ghost hunters, mm -hmm. um, which. <clears throat> Ghost hunters would probably come in and just tell them what they already know. True. Um, which for some people, that's the, it just letting them know that they're not crazy is, is helpful, but it's not solving any problems. Um, I don't know why. So it was really hard to find this movie on to, to watch it and to go over it. So, and so there's these clips and there was a clip missing that I remember from the movie because I the reason I remember it is because way back in the day, my friends and I had tried it. So it, you put powder on the floor. If you're hearing footsteps, you put powder on the floor and then you see if there's any footsteps in the powder. And there were foot, footsteps uh, that they found footsteps. What I remember from doing that, and, and I was young, I was like preteen-ish. Okay. Teen. Um, and the, the powder was just sort of moved. You didn't see like clear footsteps. I mean, if I remember there were clear footsteps and anyway, I don't know why that, that clip isn't here, but, um, it wasn't exactly right, but yeah. yeah. Um, I need to turn off that snowy TV. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, we're getting closer to the end here and this is really fun. I'm really enjoying this a lot. So, um, just weird, just weird. <clears throat> and you see, we don't get too excited when those things happen. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> and it just came on again. So there you go. Let's see if that worked this time. Okay. I'm just going to keep the remote handy. <laughs> yep. Just keep it handy. <laughs> um, so all right. <laughs> We will look into that when we're done with this, but yes. Um, oh, whatever. I <laughs> All right. So the next one, night 18. Okay. And we just have a few more clips left, looks like. in bed once again during the three o'clock hour <laughs> yes oh yeah that random happened. light mm -hmm. certainly happened see how that those footsteps how you can see it that there's something really kind of off about oh. that. Oh. Hello. <laughs> yes. That can happen. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Yep.
Back with us. expect there to be more activity actually down there after just kind of what's happened after that yeah, yeah. i would more too. shaking of the house things mm -hmm. rattling mm -hmm. all over like falling just, off the shelves yeah, like like yeah. more of an episode <coughs> i would expect that at this point mm -hmm. to say though i'm with her i would want to be downstairs i would yes. want to be down in the in the living room the main living space yes. of the house because for some reason it always feels safer in the living it room it does yes yeah yeah huh that is true yeah. it really does yeah mm -hmm. yeah right yeah. and it seems i mean a lot of the activity is happening upstairs and in their room and yeah absolutely mm -hmm. But yeah, I do agree with what you said. <clears throat> with that big of a episode upstairs, I would expect the whole house to have, especially yes. when they went down there. Yes. I would expect the activity to follow them when they went down there. Yes. Um, Things rattling, getting thrown, getting moved around, doors shaking, and yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Almost like, is there an earthquake happening? Yes. Yes. Mm hmm yeah, where you check the news. Is there an earthquake? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Okay. Broken picture. What the fuck is that? <laughs> I'm glad... There would be more happening during the day too. So this is, I'm glad they're showing this. I'll check the mirrors. Because there would be. Check the mirrors? I don't know why he's checking the mirrors. Is that what he thought he heard was a Maybe. mirror break? What picture? So look. Fuck. Ah. What the hell? How come my face is scratched and yours isn't? Here. I don't know how accurate that is, but um, mm. out of all the pictures, it'd be What's that here? one would be right on him. Uh, that's a little I'm off. But... About... I don't know. I feel it. I feel it breathing on me. Oh. I've had that feeling a few times. Please. The face is being licked or something. Oh, yeah, I know that one. Oh, Sniffed? Nice. Yes. A lot of sniffing. Mm hmm. Uh huh. <laughs> What? What's he gonna find in the shower? <laughs> but that's how his mind is racing, right? He's getting he's not it's not reasonable anymore. <laughs> it is not reasonable. No, no. So this shit happened in the daytime before. <coughs> it's getting worse. Yeah. 
And it should be happening in the daytime more. Yeah. All right. By this time it would. Yeah. I, I I'm going to say that picture yeah. being broken. Um, yes, that would, ha could happen. Probably does happen. But I would suspect that it would be all of them or more of them. Yeah. Not necessarily just one. And just, and it's like on his face. Like, so they t wanted to make it look like they're after him or something. Right. Like there's some, um, yeah. Yeah. I'm guessing that's what they're. I, yeah. I would, I would guess. Yeah. Um, so. And again, this is a movie, so we're not able to look into it. Right. To, to say definitely, <laughs> you know, definitively, this is what's happening or right. whatever. It's a movie. So we're yeah. just trying to, you know, and a damn good movie as a matter of fact. <laughs> so. All right, next one, Night right. 19. <sighs> yeah? <laughs> Definitely all the crying, certainly. So fucking tired. Yeah. <sighs> Oh, yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. And getting closer, you know, when they getting start closer. doing it, yes, yep. in the bed, it's, it's, they're, they're, it's ramping up. Yeah. It probably would have happened in the bed prior to now, but either way, does it, it's, it's happening in the bed now. And so that's really, and yes, it would happen like that. <laughs> Yep, lights. Breathing. More activity, the more paranoia. I mean, it's just like. Wave on, Mika, come back. Come on, Taylor. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Please. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. Uh, nothing to add there, I don't uh -uh. think. All right, Diane. More of that. Oh, are they rewatching? Oh, okay. Let's do something. I can feel something wrong. I was doing some research, was trying to figure out our options. And right. I found this website, this chick, Diane, one of the possibilities from the board. Yeah, yeah. she has all the same things happen to her in this. Oh, from, from the, the Ouija board. board. She like has all the everything, same like things. eight years old and like like house burning down and like seeing shadows and whatever. God knows. And she called an exorcist. 
Now her? You're telling me there's some girl from the 60s who had the exact same things happen to her? Yeah, down to a T. Maybe this thing is is the same thing and he just, just jumped to you instead. And that's his MO or whatever. And he's trying to warn us with the Ouija board. No, that's not entirely the way that works. So we know. So what happened to her? Is she okay? He tried to get rid of it and sometimes that just pisses it off more. Before the yeah. exorcist got there, she wasn't like this. She was just hearing voices and having all these bad dreams. I'm trying to find some kind of reason this thing would pick you after haunting her. I can't find anything. From what I've been reading, these things are totally random. There's just no reason. Like, How did she die? She's pretty. No, she is. I think this thing's trying to warn us not to fuck with it. I don't want to take a chance. Oh, God. There's no way that we're doing this. It's got to win its own before. This is not worth the risk. I'm going to go lay down. All right. That doesn't... Um, this is hard. This For me, this part is hard because if it were real, then we could get more information. But this is all made up and whatever you know it's a movie um but that typically doesn't happen where it's exactly the same i mean they're making it sound like every day of her life was exactly the same as this diane right this girl. and that it, it's the the same entity that was yeah. there and then it hunted this yes other girl out now that's yeah. not ringing true for me no um that 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 would no that would happen no no. Uh, but I'm not going to say never. No, no. But but it doesn't ring true no. that that <laughs> doesn't for me either. <clears throat> no, no. They're they're trying to set something up. They're trying to set this whole demon right thing up for the movie. Yeah. So that it has it some agenda and yes, yeah. yes. And and even maybe what flashed for me was I wonder if they're trying to set up like it was a past life thing, like it's followed her through the lifetimes or something. Because she would not have been. Um, in the born in the 60s yeah that was what i thought oh i wonder if they're setting this up for us to think oh it's like lifetime after lifetime it finds her and it does the same thing she's doing the same life over and over again now that would have been a really interesting twist, twist on yes. that See, for I them can write to have movie. followed through because mm -hmm. aren't there more movies aren't there yes like many more yes of these and they're all kind of different like it's not, no. Ah. No, that's not where they went with that. Okay. Yeah. All right, Correct. there we go. Night 20. Bummer. Out. And yes, that can happen. I have not personally seen that happen, but it's extremely rare, but I, I, I'm not going to say that would never happen. Definitely the yanking out of the bed and the kind of pulling them, yes. And the slamming of the door, absolutely. And it'd be in line with, with uh, uh, definitely a lower vibrational. Yeah. Like now we're seeing... I just want to go. I can't. I, I Saying can't, little I things that may, would would lead you more to a lower vibrational entity or an earthy that's been around a long time, really long time that has learned how yes. to stay there tonight. Yeah, but that would that would be more of a lower vibrational entity. Mm -hmm. entity. Hey, let me get a shot of that thing. I'm going to your back. Okay, it's okay. Oh. 
Jesus. I'm not sure of the bite. The mark, yeah, yes. but... It looks like something bit you. Yeah. yeah. I'm not sure of the bite part of it. That's a little... Mm -hmm. so, a little much. I would, I would have expected more um, scratching. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> or something. Yeah. Or when she hit the floor, certainly... Sure. Hurt something, yeah. Sure. But, um... um and not that, not that a bite couldn't happen, but just the way, you know, they made it so big and they made it like, it, it just, that, that didn't, doesn't ring true for me. Um, so the pulling out of the, out of the bed, mm -hmm. absolutely. Mm -hmm. Um, pulling her down the hallway, who am I to say? Right. Um, right. but with that and how violent it was and the door slammed, mm -hmm. so that he and her were separated, mm -hmm. he's not gonna just open that door. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That door's not opening. Yes. Now that we've come across, yeah. where it's just it's it, just not. If they're the, yeah. They want that separation, they've got her. Yeah. He's in that room, and he ain't getting out. Right, mm -mm. right, yeah. Ugh. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Night 21. I like the way they run through the time. The fast forward, yeah. Mm -hmm. That can't be good. <laughs> Okay, that was not good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so 
uh, Mika's body was discovered by police on October 11th, 2006. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Katie's whereabouts remain unknown. All right. So there we go. Great movie. Um, yes. So clearly, uh -huh. she was fully possessed. Yes. Yes. It doesn't quite look like that, but, um, you know, <laughs> yes. They do have strength, <clears throat> though, that is, um, the, the possessed person has inhuman strength. They do, yeah, and it's I'm not sure how that all works, but no, but uh, and then at the end, when she their face can really change, and you can see it in their face that it's not them anymore, and mm -hmm. that kind of thing, so that's a little scary. Um, that whole thing, you know, great movie though, <laughs> loved it. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah. like, subscribe, let us know what you think in the comments. Um, I'm a little shell shocked still, but that's okay. <laughs> I'll be fine. Yes. <laughs> and we're gonna do more of these through October because it's it's fun. It was really fun to do something different other than um, the typical. Mm -hmm. And this was, I gotta say, this was was fairly well thought out. I, yes. I, I yes. liked the. Um, yeah. You know that they're putting it out there that it's just them yep. taping their, yes. you know, their everyday <clears throat> and life. And I believe as when it came out, they, it was like that, like it was meant to be looked at as something that actually happened and people were doing that in their, like it was a real ah. thing, kind of like Blair Witch, if you guys remember that one. Um, same thing, like it was real. Yeah. And it's very low budget, very well done. And it made woof, <laughs> lots of money. <laughs> But it was so good. That was really, yeah, great. So, all right. All well, right. Hope you enjoyed um, that. Yes. Um, yeah. Hopefully was... you learned a few things. Um, yeah. And if not, hopefully you just enjoyed it yeah. anyway. So, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you brought up any questions, please yep. ask. Yes. And um, we'll do our best to answer them. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. See you soon. Take care. Bye. Bye.